not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's so not did you find out what her. happened to the courier? No, but that doesn't mean... Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Untouched by time. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. Mother, will you let it go, please? If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Emma Jean. If she wanted... Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma Jean. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? Oh. <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit. Hey, in Charlie. Boy, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This gal wants a word!
Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. You get on the mayor's I loved the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer. I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Something That's I can do for you, household. gorgeous? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it. Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. And I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you.
good thing to handle your own problems. Look alive. Look alive. Hey. Here you go. What are your thoughts on our relationship? Quite well, Mum. You've no idea how wonderful it is to have someone to serve again. Oh, nothing. All right, then. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. Do you ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please, sir, it would only be a moment. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. You must be Emogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? 
These cultists seem to be holding you prisoner. Well, Thomas certainly thinks so. But really, I was just waiting to see if he would come to his senses. He seemed so interesting at first. But since we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. job you might be interested in. You know about Jamaica Plain, right? The place where they hid all that treasure before the war. No one's ever found it, account of all the ghouls. Sal's putting together a raid team. We still need a sniper, even split of the loot. You up for it? If so, you know where to find me. Edward! Edward! Oh Edward, God, switch happening. over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? See now. How's this? Oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Oh. What do you want? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. 
My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. If you're 400 years old, then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say... mid-21st century? That's right. I was in cryosleep until recently. Interesting. We'll have to talk more about that later, but time presses. Is there anything else before we get going? Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cavett, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling her all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. We'd better get to Parsons right away, then. Exactly right. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do, he gets real. Almost there. Let's hope we're not too late. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Not good enough, sadly. This Alex, think anything good? We need to get to my office.
lock on the other side somehow. Miss well, Alice, find a way are you? <laughs> How disgusting. Hey. Miss Alice. Codsworth. Uh, Mom, perhaps now is a good time? Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Oh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean, of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, Mum, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. May be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. I consider you to be family too, Codsworth. We're in this world for the long haul. Together. Miss Alice, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Chained on the other side.
Nice. Got it. the elevator down to the basement. Shot quite a few of them. Before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. There we go. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Look at all this junk. Leave it stored away and not laying about. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful.
chained on the other side. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. And what They've definitely have... reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they Look knew how to get past... It doesn't matter. Away we'll have to go through about. the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. He seemed determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow the instructions. Everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack.
Find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Exactly Come on. I'm coming to see what that was. Well, so if you're like a ghost or whatever, just, just leave me alone. Right? There now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Right. Right. Shut the hell was that? Spread out. Oh. Oh.
utility elevator is still working. Sweet. are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! <laughs> <laughs> 